Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here, and it is August the 13th, 2024, on a Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. So what I'm going to do uh, once again is start putting out some some informative uh, videos because uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background. We're in the political season, and people are ramping up false rhetoric about their products and services and on top of that a lot of people I would say more than ever are having trouble paying their bills it's not just you and I that are having trouble paying their bills well I you know let me correct that I'm not having trouble paying my bills but I understand what it means to have trouble paying my bills let's make that clear uh, and I had to do some things that most people wouldn't do, wouldn't consider. That means I had to stop buying brand name stuff. You know, I had to reduce my amount of consumption of materialism. That was the bottom line. And I had to downsize, you know. So, thankfully, I went through a lot of periods in my life where, yeah, I was financially irresponsible. Financially irresponsible. And thankfully, I was able to get away from certain behaviors and actions. Otherwise, you know, I don't know where I would be. I wouldn't be where I am now. And this is a place, where I am now is a place of reality. Now, is it the ideal situation? Of course not. But it's a place of reality and, um, and, and focus and presence and being conscious of what is really going on around me. Which are nothing more, nothing less. And all the videos that I put out is smoke and mirrors. And so I know a lot of people pay a lot of attention to the amount of views, the amount of followers. And they are, you, you are put in a trance to believe that you're making an impact based on the number of people following you and based on the number of people liking you or disliking you. Because that, that's a strategy as well keep that in mind you know negativity is an is a strategy that a lot of people use and if you're paying attention you can pick it up you know uh, I saw someone say look a lot of people really just do not understand neutrality I'm gonna put a lot of stuff in this video and I'm not concerned because I know the right uh, it does resonate with the right sounds and tones so I'm good all right neutral Neutral is um, belonging to neither side in a controversy. Okay, um, you're not. That's what it says here. Uh, let's see what else it has here. Because we were taught a lot about neutrality. Neutrality is um, is is lacking, and therefore it's going to cause a lot of people to unnecessarily lose their lives because they uh, because they uh, interfere with, with being neutral and they threw neutrality out the window. There are certain countries that were neutral for decades upon decades and they for the most part remain peaceful. Okay? But now, neutrality has escaped that country and you, you just have to look it up and figure it out. It says here, Neutrality, uh, the state or policy of being neutral, especially non-participating non in war. Okay, so I know a lot of people uh, uh, are doing everything they can, and I know a lot of people have good intentions. That's why I'm not really, you know. But there's, but we, you know, we have to help as many people as we can, and that's, and also at the same time help each other. You know, we have to help each other, make sure we, we are changing our thinking mode and thinking properly, okay? And understand what it means to be neutral and understand neutrality, okay? All you have to do is think about the results. Is there anything in our results right now that prove that we're living in a democracy? Anything. What's the proof? What's the results? Okay, that's a question that 
we all need to ask ourselves and answer, but no one has to know. There are certain things that we're going to have to start consuming within instead of being so quickly to put stuff out. You know, put it out, put it out, put it out, and put it into a debate and argument instead of discussions and conversations. Okay? What is democracy? And I think I've asked this before. It says it's a, it's a, um, a system of government, of government in which state power is vested in the people or the general population of a state. Okay, is that currently what ha is is that currently what's happening? That's very very simple, but it, it but it gets complicated because that's the whole intentions to get things all complicated and get people rattled. And that's why I say nobody really understands what's in the Constitution because the Constitution it appears to me it was it was written for us that we did not write it. And when I say we these so-called founding fathers, absolutely not, absolutely not. The unit, the the Constitution of the United States, which was supposedly written in in the 1700s, was not written by the founding fathers. Okay, there was a whole lot of, and I know there's a whole lot of other components to it, but it wasn't it wasn't um, the idea and the uh, and, and the construction. From human beings on this planet. How about that? All right. So, my point is, we're gonna have to keep things work on our. In, see, the 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 issue is is that we are not aligning with what's going on inside of ourselves and what's coming out of ourselves. All you gotta do is look at the results. Okay. So again, you can't if you're bleeding, you can't help anyone heal. Okay, that has to be clear and effective. If you are if you are wounded in any fashion, whether you someone beat you up when you were in, in elementary school, or or raped you, sorry to use those terms, sexually assaulted you, all of these other uh, 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 traumas that a lot of people have faced, if you have not reconciled that and and do everything in your power to heal it and have people like myself and others help you heal that all you're going to do is sadly you're going to be uh, emitting that energy out to where it can repeat repeat deja vu deja vu deja vu it's all about the energy of your thoughts so there's a lot i said a lot in there and um and I, I, that's the whole, IT, whole idea is to sprinkle, put breadcrumbs, because there's a lot to consume. And you have to take these things step by step by step by step. Eat a little bit up here, eat a little bit of there. Take it on. Your consciousness can handle it. I repeat, your consciousness can handle it. Okay? You just have to suspend your ego, suspend the labeling you've given yourself, suspend the titles, suspend this, uh, this belief of who you think you are, and allow yourself to take it all in. We take things in, we, we, we cultivate it, contemplate it, we work on it, and it emits, it starts the thoughts, it, you know, we take it in, thoughts, emission inside, you know, we emit it inside of us, and then we put it out in the world. So, there's a lot of things that are happening, and a lot of things that are going to come forward, and a lot of people are just not going to be able to be concerned about certain things that are going on in our realities. Okay, a lot of us are just doing the... the, the, the um, I'm, I'm not sure what the efforts are with people because, like I said, you just look at their results. What kind of results are you getting? That's how you know what your efforts are. And I know a lot of people mean well, and I appreciate you so much, and you know who you are. I don't have to say a word. And also, like I, again, we need to get very clear about how much we are making an impact. I'm testing out a lot of theories and opinions of people who have these so-called formulas of success. 
and um, I'm disappointed. I'm just going to be real honest. I'm disappointed, but that's my personal experience. You know, some people do not recognize that luck luck does pay, uh, play a role in your so-called success. Sometimes you're just lucky. Okay, and some people tap into a great uh formulas for success or great formulas for uh, development and great formulas for this and great formulas for that. It's just what happens is, is that greed usually takes over. You know, greed takes over and it becomes about materialism more so than advancement of thinking or advancement of being more logical, rational, reasonable, grounded in, in an actual genuine reality. No one seems to want to get there because you know what? The majority of the planet will not. Sometimes, you know, we, we say this a lot. Sometimes you have to walk that path by yourself and just allow other people to catch up. Okay? You, you, got, you just have to keep it moving forward. Okay? The planet is not going to stop for you. You still have responsibilities as a genuine human being to continue to you know, work on your consciousness, work on your evolution, and, and keep things moving. At the same time, handle other responsibilities that, that are yours. You know, like providing for yourself, putting food on the table, paying your bills, blah, 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 blah. So all of that is kind of mixed up in there. But if you're creative, you can get through a lot of this stuff. You know, not necessarily saying you won't get dirty, and that, that is not, a lot of people use the word, it's messy. Yeah, I think it's more than messy, honey. I think it's, I think it's more of a, um, you, you know, that you may develop, you know, certain, certain realities that you don't want to deal with, you know, maybe health related, you know, financially related, relationship related. You're going to still in, in, involve yourself in a lot of that stuff. There's not, nothing that I'm saying says that you're not going to experience difficulties. Okay, I would be lying to you if I said that. So, I just want to go ahead and put out some breadcrumbs this morning about your efforts, about, you know, the realities of what's going on around you and how you need to really understand. Um, there's a lot of people that are, that are playing games with us, you know, and, and playing games with me playing games with you, making these promises that they know will not work. Well, how would you, how would you know? Sometimes you just got to go in there. So you're going to win and lose. You're going to, uh, when it comes to materialism, you're going to, in materialism, in most cases, you're going to lose. You may be gaining a whole lot of stuff right now with your materialism. You may have a nice sum of, of cash in the bank or assets and blah, blah, blah. Those that does not last long at all, and that's that includes, you know, our materialism as human beings. So, you know, so just kind of think wider, you know, suspend the ego, have fun with this. You might as well have fun with it. Suspend your ego, suspend your beliefs, suspend the labeling you have of yourself, and suspend all this arrogance about who you think you are and what you think you are and who you think, you know, ask those questions and, 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 and be, be brutally honest with yourself. Be brutally, brutally harsh with yourself, but be kind and gentle. Understand what that means. When you suspend your ego, it makes perfect sense. You are attempting to help yourself. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. It's about universal love. However, at the end of the day, it's about universal love. Trust me, I will be back.